file. However, um, using the free online convert program, I believe the limit is like 100 or 200 megabytes. Well, I just recorded the E3 flasher, the installation of the clip and everything, um, getting it properly set and whatnot on the PS3. And when I got back, you know, to edit the movie and put uh, my intro in, it wouldn't pop up in Windows Live Movie Maker, which is what I use for the uh, editing because I, I like using it. It's pretty easy and, you know, what, whatever. It works the way I need it to. So went to go do it, said it didn't support it. I was like, are you kidding me? It uh, shows with an X, you know, pops up with an X there. Doesn't show any of the video, so kind of show you what I'm talking about here. See what I'm talking about? Wants me to remove the file. So, and if we go back and look right here, properties.mp4 I don't know why I went to that one I've already saved it to my computer but we'll drop that one in there as well same thing .mp4 won't work um, any program I've ran into the free trials um, I don't really want to buy a program you know and not be too sure on what you know how well it works and whatnot so I decided I would do it the old-fashioned way which you have a 9% of 9% chance of corrupting your video but as you can see I have two copies of it right now I have it stored in my extra partition I also have it on the SD card to my brother's camera I was using to do uh, the previous video um, so if it corrupts it I've got a backup copy of it but it's not going to corrupt it so anyways as you can see here you can't you know if you uh, try to rename it you can't rename the .mp4 extension well there's a way around that folder options so if you just type folder up there it'll be the first one to pop up if you're using Windows 7 so show hidden files and folders it'll pop up just like this scroll down right here hide extensions for known file types plot Okay. Now, as you can see, everything is labeled .avi.mp4. Um, so, rename dot. We'll just put it WMV because I know that that is one that works with Windows Live Movie Maker. The file might become unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. So, now that that's done, oops, we can go back change that back because you really don't want to see the file type of everything so alright so now if we right click properties type of file it is now a WMV file well let's see if our file became corrupted or not so beginning works let's skip ahead a little bit looks like it's still playing Let's check again. Let me turn the sound up. We still got sound. Oops. And we still got sound. So, we now know that our video is not corrupted and that it is now no longer an mp4 but a WMV so that means I should now be able to drop this movie or this video into Windows Live Movie Maker that I was not able to do before so and look at that So, everything's still working, the video's fine, 
plays just fine. We just witnessed that on two different programs. Um, so that is how you do it. And if we scroll down here, we're at a whole another set of the video, or you know, a whole whole different part, and it's still showing the picture in this. So we know for a fact with two different programs that it has not become corrupted. Like I said, there's only like a 9% chance it's going to happen, but it very well could. So if it's a video that you want to save, you, know, you want to make sure that if it does become corrupted, you have a second copy of it. Because if that first time it becomes corrupted, you can delete that copy, make another copy, try it again, and chances are that second time, it's not going to become corrupted. So this is the easiest, and best of all, it's free. There's no downloading of anything required. There's no programs to be ran besides, you know, control panel, and then obviously, you know, what you're going to be testing the video with. So, pretty awesome, I would say. Um, yeah, really awesome, I would say, because now I can upload this video, which it's actually already uploading. The video before was 2.38 gigabytes. Once I changed it to WMV, and I also had inserted um, my intro... It only came out, I'm just going to drop it right there. It came out to 242 megabytes after being 2.38 gigabytes. So should be done uploading in about 10 minutes. Um, other than that, sorry for the, you know, off-topic ramblings there. Um, you know, sharing another free tip with you guys. And my experience on the way to uh, making this video, basically stupid mp4 files all right guys but anyways that's the video if you liked it like the video um if you want to see more you know tips tricks mods repairs everything that i do there's giveaways coming up there's a small giveaway going on now um like the page subscribe to the page check out the rest of my content start a discussion if you'd like you know i'd, I'd like to hear from some of you guys on uh stuff other than asking for help i guess <laughs> i don't know but going to end the video now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.